scariest moment at BMT is clearly and unanimously zero week. If not zero night, that is the most stressful time of your life. You're running around. If you forget a pen in the day room, they scream at you a piece of paper. If you do something wrong, write something wrong. And it's interesting because before that, when you get issued everything right off the bus, they're all not nice, but very helpful and not exactly what you'd expect. And then you get back to the dorms and everything goes wild. Uh, you're getting yelled at, you're shaking, you don't know where you are, you don't know anybody around you. It's a very unique experience. To be honest, I would do it all again though. It was the scariest part, but it was also the most fun in a way, in a weird way, but I really liked it. Probably like the most scary moment I remember at BMT was like when I first got there. It was like the zero night. We had just like gotten into the dorms. We were starting to like unpack things and you know, it was chaos. I remember like one of the MTIs was like, he said like, put this away or something. And I, I said, okay. And he said, how about a yes sir? Yes sir, yes sir. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, why? How, how did I forget that? I'm in the military now. I was freaking out a little bit. I was, I was a little shook and it was just like such a vivid like moment in my memory. The scariest moment in BNT for me, I thought was early morning shakedown on your first morning at BNT. You know, you don't know what to expect. They just flip the lights on three, four in the morning. You just got in maybe two, three hours before trying to get some sleep. And then all these TI, MTIs come out of nowhere into your dorm and just start straight up yelling at people. Get your civilian bag and just dump it and stuff. You got like maybe two or three at you. If you're lucky, maybe just one. The scariest moment was probably the first night and like the next morning because like you had no idea what was happening and you're constantly on your toes and like, why did I do this? Why? You're just questioning yourself like, why did I sign up for this? This is stupid. Like <laughs> you're running everywhere. You're like taking everything out of the wrappers, trying to get everything out when you're putting it all in your wall locker. And they're like, okay, shower. And everyone's like running to shower. You're like two inches shower. Like, hey, get back in your civilian clothes. So like, I literally fell asleep in jeans that night. Well, I didn't actually sleep really, but that was so scary. Just everyone yelling, it was hectic. Um, also, don't get the first bed right by the opening. Like there's A bay and B bay. Don't get the first bed. I was right by the latrine and oh my God, the light in your eyes. <laughs> and then constantly opening, closing up like the door. And it was like, it would make all these cracking noises and stuff. Oh my God, it was the worst. Another scary moment, it's kind of funny and gross, so sorry. But it was like two days before we graduated and like we already had like 10 hours of family time taken away from us. So we were just like scared to death that we get more time taken away. And literally anything you do, like you're scared you're gonna get family time taken away. Like that's all they have for leverage is you at, with you at this point is like family time. So, um, <laughs> and like this has happened before. And so it's kind of gross. So we <laughs> get called in the day room and our MTI is like, who the hell? takes a dump like in a stall that doesn't work oh! and we're all sitting there like oh crap <laughs> like, and we're all also kind of like trying not to laugh because it's like something really funny to get mad over but he was like first of all he's like you'd have to climb under the stall and do that like who just drops a log and doesn't flush it or say anything about it and we're all just sitting there like <laughs> Like looking around like who's gonna fess up of course no one fessed up we weren't gonna leave the room until someone fessed up and we were all so scared like all of our family time would have been taken away because someone took a dump in the bathroom that didn't work this is embarrassing yeah, yeah. like seriously seriously yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one fessed up to it oh my god it is so embarrassing it's so gross it wasn't me so whoever it was i hate you so yeah, that was scary. I didn't, we already had a lot of time taken away for us, but gladly we got all of it given back the last day. So we only had like one hour taken away total. Probably getting there. I kind of knew what I was in for because my buddy had come in before, but I didn't like really know. So it wasn't like getting there or sitting in the PRC with your box nasty. So I was in 321st at Disneyland. So we didn't get on a bus to go to our dorms. We just like walked out of the PRC in formation and like walked there as the worst formation ever. And an MTI. Uh, you know, has lined up, figured out how to do formation and everything, and he was he was scary, man. I, looking back on it, it was kind of funny, but he was he was just scary. 
at the time. He ended up not being our MTI, but he was just another MTI. But yeah, that was probably the scariest moment. I know, I'm scared of self-incrimination at this part. But I'll just be honest, almost everyone writes when you're not supposed to write. So there's different techniques to writing in BMT. Some people wrote in bathrooms. That's like a big, mm -mm, don't do that. I just kind of wrote like on a small notepad in my bed and they did dorm checks. So the MTI came in and I didn't know about it. And all I saw was the edge of his light and I was yeah, and I went right into my bed. I was like, oh my God, I was so scared. And I slept on my notepad and pen the entire night. And I had like the engraving marks at five. So, um, but yeah, if you, if you see my MTIs, I did, definitely did not write notepads. No, I was a good person. Scariest moment right there, Chow Runner. Day zero, he asked us who wasn't afraid of public speaking. I raised my hand. But why? And that's how I got the job. So my scariest moment was walking into breakfast and my, actually this shirt, I wore to breakfast. I had to flip it inside out and I had no idea what I was getting myself into. The scariest moment I had was that zero night, the first night we were there and we had like five to seven NTIs in there. It was like all hell broke loose, it was terrible. And I thought if this was basic for any, I would not survive. But it's it's not like that. They do that to say, hey, we're the dog. We're the top dogs, we're in charge here. You're not in charge, we are the MTIs, you do what we say. So that was the scariest moment.